Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency, Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started his week in the Rupununi Savannas, visiting several Amerindian villages and pledging millions of dollars to develop their livelihoods. He announced a $10 million project where government will procure some 300,000 clay blocks from communities across South Central Rupununi to support the hinterland housing program. The administration wants to create as much economic activities in the hinterland, allowing residents of here to enjoy a more enhanced quality of life. So through the region and the Ministry of Housing, we are going to put our first order in for 300,000 blocks to produce right here in South Central by the people in South Central. And we'll provide the, transport, the, the, the fuel for the tractors to take those blocks to let them and the other areas that we have to use it for our housing program. Dr. Ali stressed that government is examining strategies that could see the reduction in the cost of food. So I've asked Minister Nigel to look at whether we can acquire a canter, a four-wheel drive canter, and whether from the regional level through the economic fund, we can buy right from that area the goods that you require in a wholesale manner, provide the transportation and have it delivered to the different villages so that they can reduce their transportation costs. Masakanari, a remote village in deep south Rupununi, Upper Takatu, Upper Esikribo, could become a major organic honey production hub. President Dr. Mohamed Irfanali has already hinted his government's intention to invest in the community, which he said has vast the potential for apiculture practices and honey production. During a meeting in Region 9, Dr. Ali proposed the new One Guyana Rainforest Organic Honey brand. We'll create the One Guyana Rainforest Organic Honey coming out of this community and sold all across the Caribbean. We're going to work on that project together. I will work on that project with you. He said once the brand begins, he said once the project begins, it will embrace international standards. The president assured us that officers from the Ministry of Agriculture will visit the area to conduct an assessment, which will determine a path towards the training in apiculture. You are working with the government that cares about you, a government that wants the best for you. A government that is ready to make all the investment to make your life easier and your life better. President Ali was also apprised of the operations and ongoing projects of the International Organization for Migration, IOM, during a courtesy visit. The visiting team highlighted ways in which government can support them. To this end, the president emphasized the shared interests of the respective bodies. Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs, Senior Counsel Anil Nandlau, Minister of Parliamentary Affairs and the Governance, Gil Teixeira, and the Director of Projects at the Office of the President, Marcia Nadir Sharma, were also at the meeting. His Excellency President Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali administered the oath to the persons appointed to serve on the Natural Resource Fund Board and the Public Accountability and Oversight and the Investment Committees. President Ali said the management of the nation's oil and gas resource is now strengthened with the establishment of these important bodies. So today, I think we must all be proud of the fact that we've been able to move one step closer towards the efficient management of this sector. And more importantly, we are fulfilling our responsibility and our commitment in ensuring transparency, accountability, and independence in the management of the sector. Residents of Masakanari, one of the remotest villages in Region 9, will benefit from major infrastructure and other development this year. Dr. Ali announced that the government will make available $5 million to upgrade the Masakanari airstrip. We're going to work with the region and we're going to work with their community. We're going to find some resources so that you can have the labor and the material here. We can support you and we can work in, in uh, setting aside at least $5 million in the next six to eight months, working with you so that we can upgrade the airstrip, use the material and make it usable during the rainy season also. To allow easier access to goods and services in the YY village, 
The president said another $5 million will be invested to upgrade the main access road. We were able to complete the Parabara to Kasikaito Road. That, that uh, link. I want to say to you that we will make available before the end of this year another $5 million to continue the road from Pra Falls to the village. In the area of electricity, some 70 households will also benefit from the government's solar home energy systems. Further, in support of the village's craft industry, the head of state announced that the government will support the village to get their craft to market through the Ministry of Amerindian Affairs. I know that you do a lot of craft in this community. So whenever, and you can't have the prices too high, okay, but we're going to try to support you. I know you do a lot of nice headwear, you do a lot of good craft in this community. I'm going to have, whenever the army plane comes in, that we bring out a, a small size box of your craft production so we can help you to get that craft into the market and we can set up a fund through the Ministry of Amerindian Affairs that we can support through and pay for those crops and giving you some seed capital so we can build the crop industry in this community. President Dr. Ali and the high-level government team engaged in discussions with the commander of the United States Southern Command, four-star General Laura Richardson, at the office of the president. The American delegation was led by U.S. Ambassador to Guyana, Sarah Ann Lynch. President Ali was joined by Attorney General and the Minister of Legal Affairs, Senior Counsel Anil Nandlal, Minister of Home Affairs, Wolfson Ben, Chief of Staff of the Guyana Defense Force, Brigadier Godfrey Bess, and the Commissioner of Police Acting, Clifton Higgin. After the meeting, General Richardson was presented with a painting titled In Flight by talented local artist Dylan Craig, which featured a harpy eagle soaring over Kaito Falls. His Excellency Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali announced that government will set aside $10 million in budget 2023 for the construction of a new school in Shia Village, Region 9. I've already told the RU to proceed with the design of a new school building because in the new budget next year, we will make $10 million available for the building of that new school building here for you. With the aim of expanding education delivery in Shia, the president also committed to procuring a computer and a printer for the nursery school. We know that you want more teachers. So here is what we're going to do. All the persons in this village who have the required qualifications to be teachers, nurses, community health workers, or dental technicians, we want all those persons to be registered, give the names to Minister Damnal and the RIO chairman and be able to train them and employ them right here in the village to support you. So you will get their future when I will come from here. President Ali met with an executive team from Teleperformance, one of the largest business process outsourcing companies in the country. The group was led by country manager Luis Barreto and the aim of the meeting was to update the president on the operations of the company, its vision for Guyana and the region, and about ways it can contribute to creating more jobs and aiding in the development of Guyana. Some $15 million will be made available through the 2023 national budget for the extension of the water distribution system in Achiwib in the deep south of Pununi, Region 9. I want to tell you that we have already decided that the next year's budget we're going to set aside $15 million for the continuation of the water extension. And it makes no sense to build a new well for the 15 the families. But we're going to put a trestle up there, supply the trestle, and then that will supply the families also as part of the extension program. Government has already injected more than $1.5 billion to increase access to safe, clean and reliable water in hinterland and the riverine communities. The intervention has resulted in more than 10,000 residents benefiting from first-time access to potable water since August 2020. Since the PPPC took office, approximately 20 new water distribution systems were completed in communities in regions of 1, 7, 8 and 9 and communities on the coast. Achiwib is known for producing peanuts in abundance. In this regard, President Ali pointed out 
that the new Guyana Marketing Corporation will return to the area to engage residents. As what we can try to do is to bring somebody who is a big buyer to help even in the financing of the project so they can get you back to the peanut production as quickly as possible and then we can have a market. A market with a long-term price so that people know that not only for one crop but you're in a relationship with them for four, five, six years. President Dr. Ali was apprised of the overall security plans that will be in place and of the various events from the Cricket Carnival Planning Committee. Guyana will host the final 11 matches of this year's the Caribbean Premier League CPL, including the highly anticipated semi-finals and the final. The Cricket Carnival will see the merging of carnival activities with the matches from September 16th to October 2. Guyana's first people were given the assurance that they will not be left out of the country's development, but rather play an integral role in taking the country forward. This assurance was given by President Ali as he addressed the hundreds who gathered at the National Stadium to witness the cultural extravaganza in celebration of Amerindian Heritage Month 2022. I reassure every member of our indigenous community that we stand strongly with you in ensuring that our development path, in ensuring that creating the pathway to prosperity will include you, every one of you, every single family, every single region in our indigenous community, whether it's in the river and area, whether it's on the hill or in the valleys, we will find you, we'll work with you, and we will move you together as we build a country of prosperity for every single family. President Ali also attended the finals of the Century 21's inaugural Quran recitation competition at the Arthur Chung Conference Center. It is not only about recitation, it's about bringing us in proximity. It's bringing us in proximity with God through the message. And if we don't feel after recitation we are close in proximity, then maybe we need to revisit the intention. It invites the intercession of the Creator into our lives and allows us to lay before Him our cares and troubles. When we recite the Quran, we are single-mindedly focusing on our relationship with God Almighty. This has been the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching and do join us again next week.